Hey guys, Tim here with 430 watts of 80 plus sexiness. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're building a cheap PC. Well, yeah, maybe cheap's not the right word. Maybe thrifty is the right word. Value-oriented even. And you need a value-oriented power supply. So where do you get such a thing, Tim, you say? Well, first off, uh, at least 80 plus, you know, you don't want your electric bill to be a billion dollars. And uh, frankly, the anything less than 80 plus is, um, we'll call it suspicious. Mm -hmm. So 80 plus, 400 watts is, you, you know, if you're building a low end system, that's not going to have a high end graphics card in it. 400 watts is going to be more than enough. And in my opinion, you buy it from a reputable company. In this case, EVGA, uh, there's a few others that have, you know, 30-ish dollar um, power supplies out there. But when you catch this guy on rebate, which every once in a while it is, you can get it for under 30 bucks. And that's a hell of a deal. So that's why I chose this. I'm actually going to be doing a uh, cheapest PC you can build that I would give to somebody that I don't want to have mad at me. I.e., I don't know, parents, brother, sister, whatever. Uh, it'll be perfectly good for somebody, you know, going to school or surfing the web. Uh, maybe a first PC for one of your kids. And that's where this guy comes in. Or girl. I don't know. Are power supply is gender specific. I don't know. You plug things into the modular ones, but the other ones have dongles. Uh, 430 and 500 watt certified. That's the other thing. Make sure it's you all certified. If I didn't say that already. And of course, this is not a modular power supply. For this price, I would not expect it to be. It is not even semi-modular. For this price, I would not expect it to be. So what do we have? We're gonna, it's gonna be very basic here, guys. Um, you know, this is power supplies are one area where you get what you pay for. And, ooh, bubble wrap. Okay, so what I will say right off the get-go is it looks nice. So for a $30-ish power supply, it has a decent powder coat on it. The fan doesn't look like it's a piece of crap. It has a nice uh, EVGA logo here. Uh, you know, it's all white and like silver writing and the, you know, that's the side that's going to be out if you down face it. But most cases, now this is, here we go. I don't know if they intentionally did this or not. Most cases that this is probably going to go in, most likely won't have, um, you know, ventilation through the bottom. So if, if it is a bottom mount power supply, you're gonna mount it yonder direction. So if, if it's bottom mount, you'll get the nice clean side. If it's a top mount, then you're gonna get, you know, the EVGA logo. But, you know, on a case that's probably gonna be less than the power supply, who cares? So let's get into the nitty gritty. But I will say, guys, it does look nice. I mean, little things matter and, uh, to be honest with you, I kind of wish the Hadron look was like as uniform as this in its paint job. Oh, did I go there? I went there. So what do we got? Okay, so what do we have for connectors? We have, of course, your 24 pin. We have your eight plus four, wait, four plus four, your CPU. So depending on whether you need the eight or the four, there you go. We have a Molex, so three Molex and a floppy. Because, you know, people have floppies these days. However, there are some audio cards and things like that that need it. We have one PCIe 8X or 6, depending, you know, whatever you need there. And two. SATAs that each have two. Woo! So 
all in all, would I recommend it? Well, if you only want to spend 30 bucks for a power supply, yeah. Uh, especially when it's on rebate. I, it might be 39 depending on when you buy it, but I paid 30 bucks for it, so keep an eye out. Sometimes there's a $10 rebate on it. Put it where it belongs. It belongs in a low power, low cost system. You're not going to want to build a $1,000 PC and put this in there. However, you know, we'll see how it is for quiet. It looks like it has a nice fan. And like I said, it really does look nice. I mean, you know, okay, we'll, we'll give you guys a close up. Ooh, look at the EVGA logo. It's so nice. And for this price, that's. It looks nice. Every other thing at this price kind of looks like crap and is silver. So if you're looking for a low price power supply, pick up an EVGA 430. Oh yeah. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV guys. Thanks for watching. You'll see this in my how cheap can I build a PC that I don't feel like is going to burn down somebody's house build. And we'll see you next time.